In this video, we're talking about a policy that a prosecutor's office here in Arizona has that can be very beneficial to a defendant and it can be pretty unfair. It's called the substantially harsher policy and it's from the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Bill Montgomery is the gentleman who runs the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. The County Attorney's Office is the biggest prosecuting agency in Maricopa County. It covers all county cases, has something like 300 different prosecutors, and they have a policy that if you do certain things in your case, any plea offer is going to be substantially harsher. And they put this in writing, they put it on uh, forms, and they tell it to defense attorneys all the time. It can be pretty problematic, but here's how it works. In Arizona, our court system is set up, we have what's called EDC, it's called Early Disposition Court. And so if we think about a case as starting at the bottom and working its way up towards the top, kind of the higher floors, we, we can sort of visualize how this process works. So let's say somebody's charged with a crime at the ground floor, they wanna run cases through the prosecutor's office quickly. They wanna see cases and close them quickly. We call that early disposition court. EDC is what we as defense attorneys call it. And so cases will come in, they're supposed to only stay here for about 30 to 45 days. Sometimes you can get them for about 60 days, but they really want to move them quickly. And so you don't get a lot of activity here. You'll get a basic police report. You won't have a chance to do any interviews. And so theoretically, the county attorney's policy is that they're going to give you their best offer here so that they can get you out the door. They're gonna give you a good plea deal. So let's say you're charged with a DUI, that's an aggravated DUI, it's a felony, they may drop it down and give you a misdemeanor combo. They'll give you some sort of a deal. We're not seeing that a whole lot, but that's just one example. And so the goal is, is to move as many cases as quickly as possible. The problem with that is that sometimes you don't get access to all of the evidence that you need as your case is down in this level. Like I said, you don't get interviews, you can't go and request body camera footage, you can't do any of those things. So what you then need to do is you need to move your case upstairs. We call this the trial group. Okay, so it's, down, it's going down a trial path. There are a couple different ways that you can get up out of the early disposition court. You can have what's called a preliminary hearing or they can dismiss it and they can indict you by a grand jury. Okay, this is all complicated legal jargon, but the point of it is down here is what's called early disposition court. And unless you're in early disposition court, you're gonna go up to trial group or you're gonna be indicted or one of those things. When you, when you do one of these things, when you go through a preliminary hearing or when your case gets dismissed and you're indicted by a grand jury, the prosecutor, this is all happening with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office, it's the same prosecutors when your case transfers out of this level and into this level, it's going to be with the same agency. And so what the prosecutors will do here is they'll say that if you go this route or you go this route, any subsequent plea offer is going to be substantially harsher. They say that, they say that on the record, they say it in emails, they say it all over the place. And so what does that mean for a defendant? It means that either here, you take the plea deal. You go through this early disposition court process and you take the plea deal. Otherwise, the county attorney, the prosecutor is going to tell you, your deal is going to get worse. If you go up here, it's going to get worse. But you say, hey, well, I haven't done my investigation. I haven't done my interviews. I haven't gotten this. I haven't done this. I haven't done this. I haven't done this. Anything that you need to do here over the next six to nine months or two years or however long it takes up here, you're not able to do it in this 30 to 60 days because they want to move it quickly. So isn't that unfair? Well, it can be. Yeah, it actually can be. And that's a big problem. I have an email here from a prosecutor that we got and I'll read it. So what we did in this particular case is we requested additional discovery, okay? Discovery is something where it's police reports, it's, it's access to data that the government has that's related to the case. We wanted to go get some of it. We didn't feel like we could make a good decision at this level unless we had access to it. And so our legal assistant, Jennifer, sent an email over to the assigned prosecutor. And the prosecutor wrote back, Jennifer, we do not have the capability to order and produce the discovery requested at the EDC level. So the prosecutor is saying, we're at this level, we don't have the access, we don't have the ability to go get the information you need. The information that we believe that we need to build our defense, they don't have access to go and get it. If the defendant feels the need for that information before resolving the case at this level, then he will need to straight waiver the case, meaning he straight waves it up into this level, 
or he needs to set it for a preliminary hearing, goes through a preliminary hearing here. Having said that, any offer made at this level will be withdrawn and the offer at the next level will be substantially harsher. It says it right there in an email. So you can see here, this can be very, very scary. It can be a very scary process for a defendant. Somebody who's down here, they've got 60, 30 to 60 days to accept a plea deal. And if they don't, it's going to get substantially harsher. We don't even know what material is, what, what potential material was in here that could have been exculpatory or could have helped us in our case, help to prove our client's innocence. But we didn't have access to that. We couldn't have access to that. So we had to make a decision and we have to make sure that our, our clients know what we're getting into and they understand that we believe that the risks of going up to the next level outweigh the benefits. So it's a very difficult conversation to have. In some cases, we get very good plea deals down here. We get a very good offer based on the charges and what the statutory minimums are. But in some cases, we don't. They kind of will strong arm you and they'll scare you into taking a plea deal at this stage. So you are going to have to trust your attorney. You're gonna to have to recognize that we know what we're doing, we know who we're dealing with, what prosecutors are involved, what we believe the offer will be. Just because they say it's gonna be substantially harsher up here doesn't mean that it always is. Sometimes it does get harsher, sometimes it gets much better, sometimes it stays the same. But a lot of it's gonna depend on the very specific facts of your case. So you can see here, it does say that, will be substantially harsher. And you can also see here, the seal, service with integrity and ensuring justice for all. Thanks for watching.